All right, Frankie, here it is. Here it is. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> He's the look junk all, Santa. Look at all the cars. When we pull onto this property, we see that he lives in the middle of a junkyard. Not just any junkyard, but a junkyard of early cars. That's Christmas, baby. Look hey, at this place, man. Look around, man. This is it. It's got some stuff. Now we're seeing rusty gold. Frankie, this place looks awesome. It's like man. that kind of place. Hopefully, he remembers us. Somebody speak. Oh, John! Oh, what up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're always saying if we're in the neck of the woods. Yeah, here we are. All right. I'm amazed. I mean, this guy's got everything. He's got knuckleheads, flatheads, panheads, advertising, all the stuff I love to buy. What is that over there? I got to look at this. Where did you get the rear triangle to an early Indian? I picked that up for the swap mate probably about 30 years ago. No way. I think that's about an 07 or 08. Yeah, it's an early rooster tail model. They call it a rooster tail because the gas tank looks like the top of a rooster. <laughs> it's in really rough condition, but the fact is that it exists. And a lot of guys can build a bike out of that one piece. I got to ask you, is that, would you sell something <laughs> like that? I, I really don't want to sell it. It's one of the older pieces that I've got. And, and like I said, I'm trying to put a museum together. Yeah, and, yeah, I gotcha, and, I gotcha. How about, a, gr how about a grand? Thousand bucks. I sat back and watched Mike work and thought to myself, ooh, I don't know if he's gonna be a seller. I'll have to think about it. A lot of times, people that are collectors aren't sellers. It's hard to pick another picker. All right, man, I'm, I'm gonna keep hitting you. Oh, man. <laughs> this is all my parts. Yeah. So we walked in, and I started dissecting the room. John, what's up? <laughs> Man, dude. I just bought them at the last swap meet I went to. These things are 10, 11, 12, really early Eclipse hubs, original paint. I mean, these things are the heart and soul of the bike. Now, what'd you have to pay for these? I get 500 for the pair of them. How about $1,000? I thought, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to bundle the two things that I like. I'm still interested in the rear triangle that you don't want to sell. How about for these wheels and the rear triangle, 3,000 bucks. That's me at 15 on these and 15 on the rear triangle. Man, I got a way on it for a little bit. I offered 3,000 bucks for both pieces and he wasn't willing to pop. So I saw you got some signs up against the wall over here. Are any of those for sale? Yes, they are. All right. <laughs> I'm still hot for that early Indian rear frame section and those wheels, but I've got to find something else here to break the ice. How about this marathon sign? Yeah. All right. All right, how much are you thinking on this one? Breaking the ice on this sign could be the difference between me getting what I actually want, those wheels, that rear section of that rooster tail Indian, or leaving here empty-handed. That thing's toasted. 300. You're at three bills. Work with us a little bit. We've been taking the tour. How about 275 on this? Well, I'm going to sell it to you. And then, boom! The cork came out of the bottle. He popped on it. All right. Thank you, my friend. 275. When a collector finally gets ready to sell something, it's a big deal. But they realize when they sell it, it's gone forever. They get the cash, they spend it, then they have nothing. And that's what they're afraid of. Can I look at those wheels again? Sure. I wouldn't mind looking at those. I've already offered him quite a bit of money for the things that I'm interested in, because those things are extremely rare. He knows how rare they are, too. You wanted 1800 for the wheels. Mm -hmm. I offered you $1,500 for the wheels. I mean, we're not that far apart. Then I offered you $1,500 for the Indian rear triangle. Would I be willing to do $3,500 for the wheels and a piece of a frame? Mike really wanted these parts bad. He knew the rarity of it, but the problem was, so did John. Well, I decided I'm going to sell it to you. Really? Yeah, really. All right. Thanks, yeah. man. You worked Thank hard. Thank you. Huh? I was so happy. It was like shaking Santa Claus' hand, man. He's got the big beard, and all of a sudden, he's giving me the biggest present that I want. I love it. It's a piece that I hated to get rid of, but you'll yeah. do something with it. We will, definitely. You know, what's left of it there is enough to possibly work with, especially for a guy that's got yeah. a motor. I paid $1,750 for the Indian rear frame section. I'm going to ask $2,500. 
also paid $17.50 for these motorcycle wheels. I'm gonna ask $2,500 for them. It's toasty, but we have a marathon connection with a friend of ours. It is a rare sign. I paid $275 for this marathon gasoline sign. I could probably only sell it for like three and a quarter, but it was worth it because it opened up the door for all the other things. All right. All the fuel costs, all the hotels, all of it paid off when we found John. We didn't buy tonnage, but the things that we bought are killer. Hey, man, thanks. Hey, right, yeah. So John, you... thanks a lot. Yeah, it's been fun. I never expected to have Mike and Frank here. I appreciate yeah. you working with me. Yeah. Thanks, John. I owe you yeah. one. It was just real nice. I did all right. I'm happy with what I've done. I am going to a swap meet this weekend, so who knows? Maybe I'll find another piece of an old motorcycle to replace it with.